Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something big. And what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to throw the fucking woodsman out of here, drunk shit. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. You're the landlord, Toad. This is something you should be doing. Oh, yeah, that would be a fair fight. You're the sheriff, Big B, and the man's clearly disturbing the peace. Or whatever a Monday cop would call it. Wait, you're not worried about his axe, are you? I know you two have history, but... I'm not worried. Right, of course. 